Let's look at final exam question number 84 on page 385 of Trigonometry Demystified 2nd Edition. We're still dealing with the same situation as we had in question 83 and figure exam-11 which is reproduced here with some variations and embellishments. We want to find out what this angle right here is, the angle of refraction, angle phi. We have determined, according to Snell's law, that sine of phi over the sine of theta, which is this 60 degree angle here, equals r over s. Okay. Let's just plug these numbers right in. R is 1, and S is 1.76. Well, we have a formula here with only one unknown in it. And we can go ahead and solve this, but we're going to need our calculators, and we're going to need to deal with some sloppy numbers. So be forewarned. Here's our formula again. The sine of phi over the sine of 60 degrees equals 1.00 divided by 1.76. Okay, fine. That's our starting point. Using our calculator we can find that this value right here, the sine of 60 degrees, 0 0.8660254. Just carry that out to a few extra digits. We're only going to need three significant figures in the end, so 7 is more than enough. Divide this out and you can go to seven digits again, seven significant digits, 0 0.568, 1818. Okay, we're getting there. That means the sine of phi equals this times that. When we multiply that out, we get 0 0.49206 and a few more digits but even five significant digits is plenty here now we take the arc sine of both sides of this equation And we get that. Our calculator will then tell us, when we take the arc sine of this, that theta, or pardon me, phi, the angle of refraction that we seek, rounded off to three significant figures, is 29.5 degrees. Searching through our choices, to our great relief, and joy, we find that choice C fills the bill. So that is the correct answer. Looking back at the figure, you can see that the angle of refraction is smaller than the angle of incidence by quite a lot. It's only about half as much. Only about half the angle, because Ruby, uh, with an index of refraction of 1.76, that's a pretty high index of refraction for anything to have. And the high index of refraction of gems like Ruby and Diamond and things like that causes a lot of total internal reflection to take place. And all of that total internal reflection going on inside of a gemstone 
is responsible for the sparkle that you see when you turn that diamond around in your hands. Again, the correct answer to this question is C.